Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Talsma, CRM Product Manager here at Interdyne BMI. And today I'm bringing to you an introduction to Microsoft Social Engagement with Dynamics 365. So I'm gonna be going through a quick demo, uh, but let's look at our agenda for today. So we're gonna start off with a quick introduction going over what is Microsoft Social Engagement. Then we'll move to a demonstration of the key modules within the application. And as we're going through, I'll also provide a little bit of an overview of the integration capabilities as well. So what is Microsoft Social Engagement? The key thing that it does is automatically collect data from social media websites such as Facebook, Twitter, and various other sources. This even includes blog posts, videos, and uh, news sources as well. For those of you who had heard of Microsoft Social Listening, this was the key functionality behind it. However, it has since evolved into Microsoft Social Engagement, with the key difference being that it is now engineered to allow you to reach out to your customers as well. And this includes responding to posts, tweets, all within one platform. And while it's great to view and reply to all these different forms of media within one application, Microsoft Social Engagement takes us a step further and brings that data into a central location where it's automatically compiled into easy review analytics. So you're able to filter what is most important to you, make strategic decisions based off of that data, and truly understand your positioning within the market. So now that we have a general understanding of what social engagement is and what it's used for, let's get into how it accomplishes these things. And the first module we're gonna talk about is our search setup. The search setup is what makes everything happen within Microsoft Social Engagement. Your search setup rules determine which posts will be captured within Microsoft Social Engagement, and these rules include things such as hashtags and handles within Twitter, specific Facebook pages, uh, keywords within social media posts, as well as blog and news articles. And uh, keep in mind that not only can you track your own brands and products, but you can set up search topics to track your competitors' products and brands as well. So once we have our search setup rules in place, the application starts listening across all these forms of social media and compiles them into different areas, namely the analytics module, which is where we're headed next. The analytics module is a series of pre-built dashboards that automatically compiles your posts into charts, graphs, and widgets empowering you to make sound business decisions based off of actionable data. Again, the data that populates these dashboards comes from your search topics. However, you have the ability to add additional filters such as date ranges, sources, etc. to further narrow the results. At any time you can click the post tab to see the specific posts that make up this dashboard and even like, retweet, and reply directly from within the application. So let's move to our third module, the Social Center. The Social Center is made up of user-specific streams that can be created as a way to sort posts into specific subtopics. These help your users focus on posts that are most relevant to them, as well as organize them into related categories. You also have the ability to reply to these posts directly within the streams, assign the posts to other users to follow up on, and even remove them from your streams when you're finished working on them or deem them unnecessary in the first place. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, Microsoft Social Engagement does integrate directly to Dynamics 365. These integrations allow us to take posts from our social streams or anywhere else within the application and create a link to Dynamics 365. This then allows us to create various entities such as cases and leads and import them into our Dynamics 365 application where we can utilize the rich customer care and sales modules to follow up on the posts. So the next module I'm just going to touch on very briefly, and that's the activity map. We have two types of activity maps that Microsoft Social Engagement provides us, and the first one is a buzz map, and the next is being a sentiment map. Now you can add your own filters to these maps, but those are the two that we're provided with. For example, we have the buzz map here. You can see specific locations that have higher concentrations of buzz or frequency of posts being made. Um, relative to our search topics, and that's re represented by the brighter blue, and then the faded, dimmer blue is where we have less total concentrated activity. So moving right along, our next module is the social selling module. Think of the social selling module as a personal assistant which utilizes machine learning specific to the individual users that's using the application, which recommends posts to follow up on and share based off of individual user inputs such as sharing a record on Facebook or retweeting on Twitter. You can also get the social selling assistant off to a quick start by setting general guidelines such as search topics that you're most interested in. And now finally we have our sixth module, the message center. 
The Message Center is another way that Microsoft social engagement integrates with the already familiar Microsoft platform. The Message Center allows you to set up automated emails that will inform you when certain criteria happens. For example, if you have a trend alert set up, Microsoft social engagement will inform you and email you directly to your Outlook if you have a large change in post activity within your specified search topics. You can also set up post alerts as well that will send an email when a specific post meets the criteria that you've set up within the rule. So that concludes my introduction to Microsoft social engagement. I hope you found it beneficial and as always, if you would like to learn more, don't hesitate to reach out to us in the information provided within the description. If you'd like to know more about Interdyne BMI, feel free to check out our website. To see more CRM specific content, visit letstalkcrm.com where we continually post new content related to Microsoft Dynamics CRM and Dynamics 365. If you'd like to be kept up to date on when I post my newest videos or release blog posts, I encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as follow me on Twitter. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and if you'd like to know more, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Have a great day.